Shh. It's Finn. Shh. Shh. Quiet. 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 Bald. Somebody quieten the bald, please. Stop, Stop it. No. <laughs> This is your captain speaking, Captain Fanny Bones. I, I do wish you would. Fi are you finished? Right. Okay. Hello. This is your captain speaking, Captain Fanny Bones. At least I could be your captain because I am looking to build a pirate crew. And you might think, oh, why would you want to build a pirate crew? And I was thinking, there aren't really any pirate crews. Oh no. Name a famous pirate in Skyrim. Name one. Bet you can't. There's no famous pirates in Skyrim. And I think that means that's prime opportunity for me, Captain Fanny Bones, to become an incredibly famous pirate. And you know what that means? That means I would go on incredibly famous adventures and we would perhaps need a bard to sing incredibly amazing songs about an incredibly amazing... What do you say? Stop ignoring your captain. Wish it Sven. Grab Sven. <laughs> Think of all the fun adventures we can have, Sven. I promise not to abuse you like this if you join me on the crew. You could be the first member of the, of the Fanny Bones Pirates. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. He's just jealous because he can't be the first member of the Fanny Bones Pirates. Oh, what is that? Is that always go so wrong? I just, I just wanted a bard to sing nice songs about me. Go away, beat it. Okay, so we got off on the wrong foot. Right, so let me introduce you to the wee dragon. This is our ship. Our ship, yes, because you see, I've already taken the liberty of putting your loot and your drums on the boat, so you don't really have a choice anymore, Sven, is really, is really what I'm getting at. You're part of the crew. You and Captain Fanny Bones. And that's about it, right? We don't have a lot of room on the boat. We do have a fishing rod, and there are fish. But I'm a skeleton, so that's not really my concern. My concern, Sven, my concern is treasure. Now, it just so happens I know where some treasure is, you see. Rumour has it that somewhere over that mount... Don't walk away, there's a big golden claw! And do you know what a golden claw is made of, Sven? It's made of gold! What are you doing, Sven? Getting nutrients so you've got the energy for our first adventure and you're also admiring the water. See, that's the sign of a true pirate. A true pirate, you might live on the land, but your heart, Sven... Stop eating when I'm talking to you! Your heart... It beats for the water, so it does. Sven! Sven! <laughs> Are you trying to impress your captain with your swimming? Is it, why, why? It's a perfectly good bridge, Sven. I appreciate the water as much as the next man, but come on. Wait, wait, where is he? Sven, have you drowned? Oh no, he's going to drown. Uh, Sv Sven, let's try this again, Sven. Okay. <laughs> We're never going to get anything done today, mate. Maybe a huge adventurous delve into the ruins is a bit much for your first day. How about we just try and cross the bridge together? Eh, hey, you and me, crew. come on, I'll guide you. Where's your hand? Come here. Come here, pal. Come on. Yeah, okay, you don't want your captain's hand, you want to show your captain you can do it yourself. Because your captain does believe in you, don't think he didn't. I knew! See, I knew, you just needed a bit of the old captain and cut. No, Sven! I'm doomed. <laughs> You're a pure idiot, Sven. <laughs> oh my god. I was going to get... Uh, <laughs> Sven, it's a wee trial run, right? I was going to get you to clear out that watchtower by yourself. I can't even get you to cross a bridge by yourself. You've got no chance, pal. What if I go to the other side? Could you swim under the bridge? Have you got a fear of bridges? What if your captain was in danger? Would you come around and say me your captain was in danger? Oh no, there's a mud crab! Oh, a scary mud crab! What's your captain gonna do? Oh, I'm in terrible danger! If only there was a big, brave bard somewhere under the water that could perhaps find his way onto land and help his captain. No. What is he doing, man? No, no, <laughs> please climb onto shore, Sven. Right, there, brilliant, you did it. Come on. To Bleak Falls Barrow. Sven, what are you doing? Something. Come on, Sven, mate. I'm gonna go mental. Sven, I have things, to, we have adventures to go on. Okay, right, That that's, Jesus Christ, man. 
and I want a crew of people. I can't even bum and manage one. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's not my captaincy that's failing. It's Sven's basic cognitive functions. They are the problem. Ow! Sven. <laughs> My name is Captain Fanny Bones, so from here on out to get onto the laughing crew, you have to, you have to pass the trial. What's the trial? Well, your trial, Sven. Where's Sven? Your trial, Sven. Is that Watchtower? <laughs> the one that just popped into existence? Did you see that one? That's your trial, Sven. You'll be judged on your combat capabilities, on how much you can follow instruction, which you're abysmal at, by the way. Literally the worst I've ever seen in my puff. Are you snowblind or are you just regular blind? Oh, there he goes. Right, come on, Sven. I believe in you, pal. I believe in you and your wee house coat and your dagger. You can def you can take these bandits. Don't you listen don't, don't you be afraid just because they have armor and weapons doesn't mean you can't stand tall. Just remember you've got the captain at your back. Hey, well done, Sven! I wasn't paying attention because I was getting a bound dagger out so I thought you might need to... Um, Sven! Sven! Now, 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 now you're... Now I'm judging your, your awareness, your, your sense of awareness and self-preservation. Have we got a standoff? Are you actually a genius? Because you have completely confused this man. You know what, Sven? You've got very unorthodox tactics. Where are you going? No, no. Oh, oh, Sven, you took that in the face. Do you know that you took that in the face? Right, there we go. Right, come on. Get vengeance for your face. Oh, a bit of back and forth action. Well done, Sven. They, they might have a helmet and a shield and a mace and armor, but you have fighting spirit, Sven, and you're already mortally wounded. How much worse could it possibly get? And just know, obviously, if you die, I'll kill her, so it's fine. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, Sven, well done, mate. I tell you what, Sven, your methods might be unorthodox, but you know what you're doing in a fight. I tell you what, let's go see what your hardship has won us. A pair of hide boots, a stamina potion, and 48 gold. Listen, sometimes it's not all about the treasure, right? Sometimes it's about the adventure and the friends you make along the way. Welcome to the laughing crew, buddy. Pleasure to have you aboard. There you go, Svenny, the spoils of war. A lovely set of armour, some nice braces, a nice new sword. No no, lot, no more of this iron dagger rubbish. You were such a savage with the dagger. I can only imagine the torment you can inflict on our enemies with an actual weapon. Very baggy trousers and some incredibly hairy boots, but um, you are a Nord, and if that's what you're into, that's fine. You do get a cloak, though. I don't have a cloak. I am worried that you now look like the captain. Is he, is he coming? Is he just right? Okay. Well. Hope you're managing out here in the harsh climate of Skyrim. Uh, you're probably quite used to it, actually. I don't know why I'm doing all this. I'm a skeleton. I can see perfectly fine. This, Sven, this is our first adventure as a crew. Now, you might be feeling yourself, Sven. Because that was quite the show in there. You've done it all yourself. You've got a wee cloak. You've got a sword. You think you're something, and you are something, and you could be something truly special, and hopefully the captain will get you there. But in the meantime, watch and learn. Prepare to be boarded. An archer, mate, an ow. Oh, oh the teamwork. <laughs> I get them with arrow, and then you charge in, Sven, that's the trick. <sighs> okay. Oh, my man! Yeah, you finished having a scavenge, taking what is rightfully yours as one of the laughing crew. Now, dear Sven, the Lake Falls Barrow. It's, you know, it, it's Pirate, Pirates 101. You, when you, when you, you always face the entrance, don't you? When you have one exit, you always face the entrance, and that way you can't be snuck up upon. I want to know I meant to miss that. Archer! Hate archers! Ow! They get me every time. I tell you what, it's definitely my... <laughs> oh man, you had it rough, buddy. That is a shit. I feel bad for this guy. Would you like... <laughs> I was gonna... Sven, I was gonna offer your shield because, um... A gift from your captain. <coughs> uh, 
Not a big fan of those cobwebs, I tell you that. That's not a good sign. As a skeleton, as a member of the undead community, uh, robbing from an urn rubs me the wrong way, so it does. Ow, 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 ow. Do as I say, not as I do. I understand you're a nod, and I don't mean to be culturally insensitive, okay, but these puzzles are for children. These are for th these are children's puzzles. I mean, I guess he fell for it. Now, admittedly, I followed behind him and I got hit by the poison arrows as well, but that's because... I... Right, it's, it's a puzzle for children. Now, I know I said I wasn't a big fan of robbing the dead. As a skeleton, there's a code of honour to grave robbing. Chests, perfectly acceptable. Things lying about, freebies, mate. Anybody can take them. Things in creepy urns that may or may not have curses or boons or something cast upon them. Absolutely not, you're asking for trouble there. Sven, I can hear somebody, hear somebody that's probably after the same treasure we're after. So be on your guard. <laughs> Stupid cobwebs. Up, oh, Sven, I need you to be even more on your guard than usual, pal. This is trial number two. I know I didn't mention a second trial, but nobody mentioned the giant spider, so... Uh, oh! Any time today, Sven. Your captain believes in you, Sven. Well, come on, Sven. Come on. Sven. 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 Can you hear the crowd, Sven? Oh, bollocks. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm getting performance anxiety in front of the spider. Right. Charging. Oh, 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 I'm covered in goo. Sven, I get covered in spider spit because of you. And we go. Oh, 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 it's back up, it's back up, it's back up. Sorry, right, Sven, I'll just do all this myself. Sven, are you back up? Brilliant. Well done, Sven. Don't turn around. Oh, Sven. All you did was lure me into a false sense of security there. And who's doing all that shouting? Can't the spider go and eat that person first? Okay, we seem to be at an impasse, spider. I can do this as well. Oh, no. <laughs> that was cheeky. Oh, oh damn. hell. We don't talk about we don't we don't talk about that fight, Sven. Okay, we don't talk. You have to understand sometimes. It's not all about bravado, right? I do appreciate you jumping to your your captain's defence there. But sometimes you have to play it smart. It might look like monumental cowardice, but it isn't. It's tact. That's what it is. Your captain's a smart cookie. Here, here's the thing. I, I understand that these are your ancestors and they don't want us here. The big spider didn't want us here, here either. Look at the big spider. He's like, I don't want you here, pal. And then look what happened to him. That's gross. I'm not doing that again. Come on. Let's go see if this guy knows where our golden claw is. You saw what we did there. How we tactfully and skillfully and without an ounce of cowardice battled that spider to the bitter death. Whereas you were going to be dinner, so you owe us. And what you owe us is an explanation. You're going to tell- I could just pull you out of here, such as my strength. You're going to tell me where that claw is, pal, or you're going to get the same treatment the spider got. I mean, I'll probably do it a lot more swiftly than I did the spider. The spider was a bit of a challenge. The spider was, you know, we played the long game with the spider. You, we will kill swiftly. <laughs> you, we will kill swiftly. Do you get it? Swiftly, because he's Arvel the Swift. And if he if he puts a foot out of line, I'm going to smash him in a second. I'll kill him, kill him swiftly, just as his namesake. Where's the claw? Yeah, well, you're going to have to share it with me, pal, because I saw that coming. Fe Fe a mile away. Okay, are you ready to talk? Sven, I was going to talk to... I was going to talk to him! <laughs> well, I guess we'll just carry forward and find the claw for ourselves then, won't we? Do your people not know about coffins or burying folk in the ground or... or... Or you get that, Sven? That's what happens. Oh, sorry, I'm just taking my sweet time and getting my bound dagger out. Uh, uh, Sven, any time today. Have you not got a weapon? Sven? Sven? Oh, uh, Sven, I've got to admit, I, I'm not a big fan of the, the fact that you, you are a bit prone to just running away. A test of your cognitive ability, Sven. See if you've been paying attention to my instruction. Oh. 
you were awfully quick to run in after there. Now, I understand you had full confidence in your captain that I was going to get to that level. Maybe I should have, should have tested you a bit, Mary. I should have just left it. See what would happen. Is see if you get sliced in half. <laughs> that would have been a laugh, would it? That would have been a laugh. Yeah. Three spins then. <laughs> Who needs one spin? you got three spins. I'd have a whole crew then. Don't back into the... No, it wasn't a challenge, Sven. I'm, I, it was just a, a, wee, a wee joke between crewmates, pal. Don't, don't you worry about it. What are you doing? I'd love to know what it is that gives you the fear. Is it Draugr that can walk through? Is it Draugr that can fly? Flying Draugr are quite scary, Sven. You, you get to be scared of flying Draugr that can walk through fire. Eh, uh, I'm a bit intimidated by that myself. Oh, Jesus, there's another one. Oh, now, be careful, Sven. It's awfully slippy here. And there's a uh, Draugr, which we're going to deal with. Eh, uh, uh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll deal with... We'll, We'll deal with it the old-fashioned way, right? I was trying to be fancy. Sometimes your captain likes to show off. And then other... <laughs> Did you two just run past each other? Come on, man! <laughs> you tired, pal? You're getting a bit drained here. It is. I'm, I'm rather tired myself. But listen, our first gemstone. First of many. You wanted this one? You've got this. He's got three daggers in his face, Sven. Come on. Get him. Again. Oh, Sven, mate. What you... Oh, Jesus. Sven, go for the kill. There we go. What was that all about? Look at it. He had four daggers in his face. I mean, he tries his hardest, doesn't he? But he's, he's not always the quickest on the draw. And every now and again, he just shits himself and runs away for no reason. Sven, you were winning that fight, man. What were you doing? Uh, 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 what the? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, he was quite scary, Sven, in your defence. We didn't lose anything good down the well, did we? No, I hope, bloody well hope not. I should not be walking across that. That's very dangerous. Sven, don't walk. It. Of course, of course, yes. Of course, yes. Can we assume? Can we assume that this is the puzzle lock that the... the dr we don't have a golden claw! Did either of us think to check Arvel the Swift to see if he had the golden claw on him? I can't be expected to do everything, Sven. You should have known to check Arvel the Swift for the golden claw. Don't stop, stop, don't, stop looking away as if you can't hear me just because I'm much shorter than you, right? I'm just standing on a step. You go back there and you get him a bloomin' golden claw. Get get me my golden claw. 